session we will discuss a type 2 question from the bevel gear type 2 question is very familiar to you where the information related to the diameters will be given let us look into the question and solve it the question is this a pair of a straight bevel gear transmits 15 kilowatt at 1250 rpm of 120 mm diameter case hardened steel pinion the stress value is given as 343.34 mega pascal to a 0.2 percentage carbon heat treated cast iron steel gear the stress value is given as 191.295 mega pascal at a speed ratio of 3.5 use 14 and a half degree in volute form the angle between the shaft axis is 90 degree take the service factor as 1.25 design the gear and suggest the suitable hardness this is a very familiar question uh, the only variation the two variations or two differences that we can notice when we compare this question with the previous one is this is a type 2 question because uh, uh, they have given the diameters not the all diameters one diameter diameter of the pinion is uh, given here okay and they can keep the center distance or they can give the limiting velocity all these contribute to the type 2 question and uh, the second thing is that the angle between the shaft is 90 degrees so this is the right angle bevel gear the previous question was from the acute angle bevel gear and this is from the right angle bevel gear and they have given the service factor also so there is no need to assume any uh, value for cs the value is right uh, given us 1.25 so now let us uh, solve the problem uh, we, we will write down the n1 n2 uh, gear ratio is given so using the gear ratio we can calculate easily the diameter d2 which is nothing but 420 mm uh, if they give you the value of center distance you can use the equation a is equal to d1 plus d2 by 2 and also the using gear ratio uh, you can easily substitute and uh, get the values of d1 and d2 so uh, you all are very familiar with the type 2 questions which we have solved in the a helical gear as well as the uh, spur gear this is also very much similar now we have the value of theta is 90 degree here and the equation is this uh, tan delta is equal to this is given in the data handbook 12.29a and 12.29b now uh, we will substitute the value of uh, theta is 90 degree and upon substitution the value of delta 1 and delta 2 we are going to get is 15.9 and 74 this delta 1 and delta 2 is used to calculate the virtual number of teeth so by using this delta 1 and delta 2 when we calculate the virtual number of teeth the value is going to be obtained as 20.8 and 254.7 this is the value that is obtained now using this value of z1v and z2v using the equation 12.5c in the page number 204 we can easily calculate the value of y1 and y2 so using the value of y1 and y2 and by multiplying the value of lewis form factor with the stress values you can easily calculate the uh, sigma naught y naught value and from that the weaker number can be identified here the weaker number is the gear 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 so we will be designing the gear so moving forward let us look into the step number two where we will calculate the tangential load like uh, we did for the previous question this has to be obtained in terms of uh, this will not be sorry this will not be obtained in terms of module because it's a type 2 question so uh, we have the value of velocity by d2 into by 1000 we will substitute it over here uh, cs 1.25 is given in the question on substitution we will get the value of ft as 2046 newton this is the value of 50 now this is the equation that we use so very similar equation to that of the previous questions and followed by the tangential load using the Lewis equation here uh, sigma 0 2 we are going to use because gear is the weaker number uh, b we will uh, assume it as 10 m itself and here uh, there is a slight variation because there is no need to assume the value of b as 10 m because uh, we can calculate the value of l using the diameters 218.4 so using this value of l and uh, b has to be less than or equal to l by 3 so using that relation we can fix the value of b as 73 mm so uh, like we discussed in the previous question l minus b by l ratio can be substituted like uh, l equal to 3b and the this ratio can be uh, replaced by the factor 2 by 3 
So upon substituting all these things, uh, we are going to get an equation in terms of m square. It's a quadratic equation. So here you have to understand the difference because uh, for the helical, helical gear and spur gear, the type 2 question, uh, in the type 2 question we solved or we found the value of module after solving a cubic equation. But that not the case in the bevel gear. Here we are going to obtain the value of module uh, in a quadratic form. So upon solving, uh, we can uh, take the feasible value. That is how you have to solve it. So you should understand the distinction between uh, the various design procedures and the methodology of solving it. So now obviously we have to go for the dimension calculation. All the uh, data are provided in terms of module in the table number 12.23 and using uh, that and we will follow this calculation of dimension with the calculation of dynamic load where this equation is very familiar that we use for the spur gear same equation on substituting we get the value 50 as 17170 newtons and obviously this has to be greater than the wear load and wear load also we have calculated uh, these steps are very familiar to you because you know how to calculate the value of error how to calculate the value of c all those things are very familiar this has this has already been explained there in the previous uh, problems so you can refer to that and you will be easily able to understand and if you have still any doubt you can contact me uh, or you can inbox me i can give you the answers for that or the, i can clarify the doubt and uh, finally so upon solving the wear lot uh, the value of uh, fw should be greater than fd so keeping this relation we are going to find the value of k which is obtained as 1.019 and finally based on the value of k we have concluded that the hardness of the gear and pinion should be 350 and 300. This is the way we have to conclude the design. So you should understand uh, where actually the difference comes. The difference comes mainly in this step number uh, 3 where you are going to get the equation in a quadratic form rather than a cubic form. For the helical and bevel for helical and uh, spur gear it was in the form of a cubic equation uh, but here it is quadratic that is the main difference this is how you have to solve the uh, bevel gear type two questions so kindly follow the same procedure and try to solve this questions try to solve a maximum number of questions also try to solve one question from the obtuse angle type of bevel gear and that's all for the design of bevel gear and if you find any kind of confusion uh, regarding the terminology or the design, uh, I am ready to help. You can uh, inbox me. I will give you the uh, clarifications for that. And this design is purely based upon the data handbook. So general procedure remains the same. Uh, the form of equation and the correction factors given in various data handbook will be different. So uh, try to follow this step using the equations provided there in your corresponding data handbook. Okay, thank you.